Hi guys, welcome to Reen's Place. I'm going to try a new recipe in my Ninja Foodie. I haven't done this before, but I've seen somebody do something similar online, and I just really wanted to try it and see if it would work or not. Okay, so the idea is, is that you're going to be able to make like roast beef, not pot roast, in your uh, Ninja Foodie or Instant Pot or whatever your electric pressure cooker is. So I'm going to give it a try and see what happens. What I have is I have the saute function on right now on high. I'm adding a little olive oil to it. And I'm using a two and a half pound um, eye round roast. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to season it a little bit with some salt and some pepper. And I'm going to add a little bit of garlic powder to it. And a little bit of onion powder. This is probably going to come out fast, but yep, it's okay. I love onion powder. And then I'm just going to sear it on all sides. So I will come back after I have it all seared and we will um, do the next step. Okay, so we're back. It's like three minutes. And I have it pretty well browned on all the sides. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the pot. I'm going to grab a plate for that real quick. I'm going to put the meat on the plate for now. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to add some um, beef broth to the bottom. I saw this recipe, or actually something like it, not exactly, but I figured, oh my goodness, this is so easy, and if it worked, um, I'm, I'm, you know, I've had, I love, I love pot roast, don't get me wrong, but I've had my share of pot roast, but, okay, that's going to go in there, the little rack, and I'm going to just fill it up till it gets to the bottom of the rack, it's probably going to take the whole container, which, this is, I believe, a quart, let me just look real quick, 32 ounces a quart. So it's going to take the whole box of beef stock, and then to it, I'm just going to add a little more. If you don't like salt or seasoning, don't add it. You know, the, the beef stock alone will be fine, but I plan on um, thickening this up maybe to make a gravy, or maybe I'll just serve it as like an au jus. I'm not sure. I'm going to add a little garlic to it, and a little onion powder. So it's kind of like making your own um, steak seasoning, which steak seasoning is usually just like a, a coarse salt, ground pepper, garlic powder, and um, some onion flakes, which, woo, that was open. That's okay. I, like I said, I like it oniony. And, and then I'm just putting the meat now on the rack. And again, we're going for a roast beef-like rather than a pot roast. Um, excuse me, I'm going to get the pressure lid. Okay, so that's on, and I have it on seal. I have fuzzies from my dish towel on it. Okay. It's on seal now. And then I'm going to come around the front. Let me see if you can see. Hmm, let me pause and see if I can get a better angle. Yeah, I'm hand-holding this, so if it's a little shaky, I'm sorry. So um, what we're going to do is we're doing pressure cooking. Pressure, I want it on pressure low and time 4 minutes that's it i'm going to put it on for 4 minutes and then i'm going to let it do a natural release for an hour for 60 minutes and um, when i open it after the 60 minutes i'm going to hit the start button okay so when i open this after it pressure cooks for 4 minutes and it natural releases for an hour it's supposed to be like a medium rare type of roast beef i'm going to um, give it a try hopefully it'll work and um, we'll see if uh you know if this is a go or not so i will be back with you after my natural release so i'll see you in an hour okay guys we're back it's um it's been an hour since i did the quick release so let me just recap real quickly 
I had a two and a half pound eye round roast. We um, seared it in a little olive oil, salt and pepper, onion, garlic. And then we, um, we put it in on the trivet with a 32 ounce container of beef broth underneath it. Then we did a pressure cook for four minutes on low and we let it natural release for an hour. And now we're going to um, open it up, take a look. Hmm, looks pretty good. As you can see, I'm going to take you off of the camera stand here for a moment to see my hand. Looks pretty good. Let me get my little um, thermometer here. If I turn it on, it'll probably give you me a more accurate reading. Okay, here we go. Looks pretty, right? See, it's looking like there's a lot of blood coming out of the top, so I don't know if that's too, um, no, it looks like we're done. I'm already up to 147 degrees, and according to this meat thermometer, 145 is rare, 160 is medium. I'm up to, you know, like 147, so I'm, I'm guessing we're like a rare. Yeah, it seems to stop climbing at 147.8. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this rest here for a minute or two. And then I'm going to come back at you and we will slice it open and see what the inside looks like. Because that is what uh, really matters. All right, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Um, what I did do is I put this on saute so that the drippings would um, come to a simmer so I can thicken them. And I let the meat rest just a couple minutes. And I sliced it, and it's a little pink in the middle. I would call this medium and not rare. But I tasted a little piece, and it's juicy. And, you know, I think it was a good a good thing. I, I would do this again. Okay, now, so for this, you could just serve it like this as, like, an au jus. I'm going to try to thicken it up. I started um, trying to cut out flour and grains for my diet. So I'm going to be trying... I don't know if this is going to work or not, to thicken it up with a little um, psyllium husk. But by all means, you could totally make a roux with a little cornstarch and water or flour and water. This is just what I'm using. And I don't know if this is going to thicken it or if it needs a little more. But that's it. So um, I hope you like the, uh, what would we call this? A roast beef. I'm going to say it's roast beef. I hope you like the roast beef recipe. Again, you could do this in your instant pot. I did it in my Ninja Foodie. Um, if you have any, get any electric pressure cooker, you could do it in. It doesn't matter what brand it is. But I hope you guys enjoy the recipe and give it a try. If you do, leave a comment and let me know how you liked it. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Thank you for watching. If you haven't done so, please hit that red subscribe button. And if you like this video and like to see more for your foodie or Instant Pot, please give it a thumbs up.